Well, it was time for the start of the baseball game between the Bungo Braves and the Coco Loco Cards. But it seemed hopeless for King Leonardo's Braves. In our last episode, Biggie Rat got from Professor Messer a baseball that no one would be able to hit because it jumped away from everything wooden. Now, Biggie Rat is acting coach for the Coco Loco Cards and Itchy Brother, masquerading as the umpire, planned to put the special jumping ball into play whenever the Bungo Braves were batting. In just moments now, this big game will begin. And there's King Leonardo. He looks confident. And there come his teammates. Like a play ball! Big Jack Club is first up for the cards. There's the King's wind up. The pitch and... Like a strike one! Hey, what are you, blind? There's the next pitch. It's way up high and... Strike two! The umpire's called another strike. There's more arguing. And uh oh, here comes the card's new coach, Crazy Dingle. Now listen, Fathead. Crazy Dingle, don't go for that kind of call. Maybe you'll need these new glasses. <laughs> now whose side you working for? The crazy man, crazy. Right. Well, it's the top of the fourth now, the most amazing game I ever witnessed. The king has settled into some solid pitching, hasn't allowed a single run. But that card pitch is really something. Every time he steps on the mound, he insists on another ball from the umpire. And look at him pitch that ball. Looks like he's got the king and Odie Colony worried. Sire, something is wrong. How can such pitching be? Never seen anything like it. Preposterous, confounded. Can't even do that with my knuckleball. Bottom of the seventh, fans, and the king seems to be in trouble. He's lost some of his control. And it's ace spade up now. A heavy hitter for the cards. There's the pitch. Spade swings. And it's a line drive in. Dramatic catch, sire. You said a mouthful, shorty. What a sensational catch. But the king's not out of trouble yet. Just two out. And here's Jack Club up again. The pitch. He slams it at. Yes, it's a home run, and the score is one to nothing in favor of the cards. Last of the ninth now, Odie Coloni coming up to bat. The score, cards one, Bongo Braves zero. Listen to that crowd booing Odie Coloni. Looks mighty bad for King Leonardo's team. Coloni lets the first pitch go by. Ha! Ah, so that's it. The ball jumps away from the wooden bat. Time's been called. Odie Coloni's gone over to speak to King Leonardo. Scoundrels! You must get a metal bat, sire. Hurry, for you're up next. A metal bat, eh? How's that, can't say? Odie Coloni's on base, folks. The ball hit him right on top of his head. King Leonardo's up next, but something seems wrong. The king is staggering. He's over by the canopy. He's leaning on the pole. The crowd's booing wildly. The king is up, but he has a metal pole for a bat. There's a pitch. It's a hit. It's going, going, gone. A home run. The final score, Bongo Braves 2. Coco Loco cards won! Yes, with masterful ingenuity, the King and Odie have brought back King Leonardo's popularity. What new threat will Biggie and Itchy use against the King? Don't miss the next exciting episode of The King and Odie. <laughs>